Okay, sports fans, sea motioners, do a little different approach for you today. Um, <coughs> I was out on the links at Bighorn two days ago. Yeah, dude's name was James. <coughs> Strong like bull. Big, big legs, but not a spring chicken. Um, after a couple holes, I started paying attention. So, started paying attention right away. He, he, well, he was flying at 220. I mean 320. <laughs> okay. Yes. There was some technique involved. Then I just started looking and. The first thing I picked up on was he had a two-handed, ten-finger grip. Number two, he was kind of in an arm lock setup like Lee. It's very aggressive. You kind of a straight line here, all the way down. The back of the, it was it's so easy to see on the driver because the tee boxes are just a like putting greens there. Back at back edge of the driver is way up in the air and hooded. And just these low screaming bombs. And he only had one gear. <laughs> Anytime he hit a bad shot, he'd be like, oh, I, I held it off, I held it off. So he kind of instinctively knows he pulled it down. <sighs> The other thing I saw in there was another huge similarity, which was it's kind of hard to show, but it was definitely deep, a deep move on this guy, really deep, and like that, very erect, very erect up here through the center, <clears throat> he'd get near the top, bend the left elbow, and then just straight down. I got home. I grabbed the, I grabbed the club and started propping it up. And doing a little mimicry there, and I was like, "Oh my God! Look at my feet." Which was the other thing the guy had, not identical to Lee, but it was just like it's like it's the move is just automatically kind of. Centering you, balancing you back that way. So I'm gonna tinker with those variables. Because that's kind of to me what this stuff is all about is finding some basic anatomical moves and finding your own variables. Um, <clears throat> That's golf. No two players get up on the golf ball the same way. Uh, he could not let off. James was, we had a 148 yard shot on a par three and a pitching wedge or a sand wedge for him. But <clears throat> a beautiful looking shot. I thought it was gonna go in the hole and he's like, no, that's not it guys. And I'm like, what, what? <clears throat> Comes up 30 yards short. <laughs> Took too much off. So he had the in between gear, he couldn't, he had no idea how to do it. But, yeah, I, I measured him. He was flying at 320 exactly. <clears throat> they, uh, it's hot down there, so they keep the fairways real soft and his ball would just plug and just go Ding! like that. <clears throat> this. He also knew the elbow flare, elbow right out, <clears throat> right oblique flare set up action as well, but he just didn't know it. He wasn't consistent. So, so that's just completely foreign to me. But now that I see that how it's these trigger signals are 
corresponding to your, your mind and body. First, first ball of that, I promise. That is um, powerful as all heck. I am going to not bore you anymore. I'm not very good at bending the left arm, but <clears throat> I'm going to rifle through a whole bucket. out this morning so I can go ahead and go straight to the driver. Didn't bother to post this. Okay. Okay. Arm lock. That's arm lock. So if I can get that back edge up in the air and hit it a little bit. There we are. Held it off a little bit. <laughs> Means this is not reorienting right. That's all. Oh, okay. That was the other thing. It was very. James was very railroad tracks. But the target would be a, maybe 15 yards left of where the railroad tracks were, so it was definitely kind of an inside down the line move. Okay, let's just. There we go. I'm so afraid to close that face. <laughs> Okay, the feel of strength and power is there. Whether I get any gains, I don't, I'll find out. Exciting times in the crypto world, guys. I'm having a blast today.